This is tutorial 2-8 in the GIS Tutorial 1 book. We are on page 83, creating group layers and layer packages. So start ArcMap and begin a map document. So I have already done File New and I have a blank map here. And I want to save this. Let's do a File and Save As. And I want to save it with all of my other tutorial files. We skipped Tutorial 7. Now we want to create a layer, group, and description. In the table of contents, right-click layers and click new group layer. Right-click the resulting new group layer and click properties. And on the general tab, we want to give this a name and it's going to be NYC Fire it is going to be the layer name and the description is going to be NYC firehouses and population. Let's turn to page 84. We want to click the group tab and choose add. We want to find the New York City. So we want to go to the GIST1 folder. We want to go to the data folder and choose New York City GDB. Then we want to select boroughs, facilities, fire companies, and water. Hold the control key down for multiple selection. Fire companies, water, and click on add, but it says do not click on OK yet. Click Burrows and the up arrow until it is at the top of the group layer list. So that's at the bottom right now. So let's move it one, two, three. Click Water and the down arrow so it is at the bottom of the group layer list. And now we can click on OK. So that's going to be the order in which they get drawn. Now we're on the bottom of page 84, Symbolize Layers. In the Table of Contents, right-click Burrows. We want Properties. And in the Properties dialog box, we want the Symbology tab, which is still the one selected from the last time we were here. And we want to choose Single Symbol. And for the fill here, we want to choose Hollow. We want a black outline, which is already selected, but we want the width to be 1.5. So if we make that hollow, we will have the outlines of the burrows on top of everything else. But that's all that we'll see. Uh, now let's go down and click on OK. We want to leave the Layer Properties window open and click on the Labels tab. And this will tell us how we're going to label the burrows. Click on the checkbox for label features in this layer. So we want to turn that on. And then click on the symbol button. And then click on the edit symbol button. And then we're going to go to the mask again like we frequently do here. And we're going to do a halo just to make sure it shows up. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. And now this is what we have. They don't have a picture of this in the book yet. Uh, so we're going to make a few changes. And we should shortly get to the map that's on the bottom of page 85. OK, we are on number three now. Uh, in the table of contents, right click facilities and choose its properties. And we want to go to Definition Query. And I'm going to go to Query Builder on this, even though they don't in the book. And what I want is Facility T 2101. I'm sorry, Facility T equals equals 2101. Click on OK, click on OK, 
and that greatly filtered the facilities. I don't know what all the options are for facilities. You could go right click on this and look at the data that's hiding behind this and you could see all the different values for facility T which is probably facility type. 2101 must be firehouses so these are all the firehouses in New York City. So we're going to rename this layer firehouses so we can just click on it and call it firehouses just type right on top of it. And we want square 2 Mars red size 6 so double click on the symbol here. We want square 2 Mars red and a size of 6. So I'm just going to type a 6 on top of that, 6.0. In the table of contents, so let's click on OK. Now we should get red dots and it's looking closer to what's on the bottom of page 85. Right click fire companies and go to properties and click on the symbology tab. We want quantities. We want graduated colors. We want population 2010 as the value field. So let's go to pop 2010. We want the black to white. We've got white to black. So let's go here and let's change uh, black to white. Click the symbol heading above the color ramp chips right here. And flip the symbols. Okay. So we could have just done a white to black. Number seven, click the classify button. Select quantile. Click OK. Leave the layer properties window open. Now we're on number eight. Click the label heading over the right half of the symbols and click format labels and we want to see the thousands separator right here click on OK click on OK, okay. in the table of contents right click water so here we go and we're going to go to its properties and symbology and water should probably be blue click on this and it says blue single symbol blue with no outline click on OK and now if we click on OK one more time now our map should look pretty much like the one on the bottom of page 85 we will skip over the your turn part on page 86 and now we're going to save the layer package that we've created so we're going to right click on New York City Fire and we're going to click on create layer package and in the layer package window click save package to file and we're going to browse and I'm going to save that with my other um, GIS stuff here on I think this is on OneDrive. It is. And we're going to go with the default name, which is nycfire.lpk. Go ahead and save it. Okay, number three on page 87, click the item description button and type NYC Firehouses and Population as the summary well we've already got it down here so I'm just going to select it do a control C and then go up here and I'm going to paste it in NYC fire as the tags so tags are required this is for searching click the share button and wait while the layer package file is created and click OK when the succeeded window appears and that is the end of tutorial 2-8